So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do out here today. I know I want to pick some flowers. Got some beans to pick, a lot of peppers, lots of little spicy peppers that I want to pick. And I think I've got some staking up of some plants to do. Um, and I might cut down some grapevines for the goats. I'm not totally sure, but I think I've got a lot to do out here today that I can do at least. And hopefully it will not rain until later in the afternoon, so I'll be able to get some of that done. But basically what's been happening is the weather report says it's going to rain like early in the afternoon and I kind of like go inside and start preparing to do stuff inside and then it doesn't rain like for hours and hours. So I think I'm done doing that and I might as well just stick it out in a bathing suit and boots and just wait until it rains and then go inside then. <laughs> I got these zinnias here that are like six feet tall. They just keep going crazy. I just keep cutting them and they keep coming back. I think this is a Brussels sprout. Pretty sure he's getting some little sprouts on the stem there, which is pretty dang cute. Yeah, this is my one small garden that's right near the house. Been getting a lot out of it so far, but it's also kind of just getting kicked off. You out here with me, Penelope? <laughs> She's allowed in here, but the pig is not, because the pig will eat all of this. At least crush it. I always say about this garden that if you didn't know plants, you would think <laughs> there is nothing good in here. But there is a lot good in here. It's pretty wild, too. It's definitely covered in weeds most of the time, but um, I kind of just pick those and give them to the goats or when we've got pigs and chickens and stuff, give them to them, make use out of them. inside. Hi, sweet girl. Good morning. As soon as I get out here and get suited up, it looks like it's going to freaking rain. Got a big pile of stuff here to take at the compost, and then I'm going to go pick some beans.
All these beans. So I'm going to save some seeds from these sunflower heads and got some fresh picked goodies. Well, just like that, the sun came right back out. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little break and catch some sun with my girls. Me and my girl Tallulah catching some rays for whatever's left of them today. Yep. <laughs> Hi, lovey. Well, I guess I wasn't snuggling hard enough because she just flipped over and rolled directly onto me. Hi. <laughs> I've had Tallulah since she was a little tiny piglet, like the size of her snout. She was really small. I bottle fed her. And she was supposed to be maxed out at like 20 pounds. <laughs> Not so much, huh? She's probably about 120 pounds on a good day. And we barely feed her. She kind of just roams and eats whatever she wants. She has lots of fresh grass, loads of acorns, all kinds of dandelions, and all kinds of weeds and stuff that she likes. And who knows what else she gets into. She is um, eight years old. So she's my oldest girl on this property. And she's very much so a mama's girl. She uh, tolerates other people <laughs> for the most part, but she really loves me. And can you blame her? That's my girl. That's my girl. <laughs> hey, Penelope. You good girl? You guys haven't met Griffin. I just shaved off a bunch of her hair because she was basically one solid dread. Yes, she was. And even then, she still went straight into the mud. She's so sweet, but she guards our property really well. So, I think I'm going to try and mow. Because this is getting pretty lush. But, <laughs> that thunder doesn't sound too promising. Let's see if I can make it happen. I love this heckin' mower. It is like... A productive go-kart it is just the most fun I've more fun on this commercial mower than the ATV I seriously love it but now the real test is to see if I can get this thing started I usually have to jump it which is okay we have like I don't know if we're on some ancient burial ground or if it's our spring because we have a spring-fed pond 
but there must be something with like an electromagnetic field or something because batteries die like nobody's business on this property and I mean like my husband has a background in chemical engineering, his two chemical engineering degrees, his father and most of his family are like electrical engineers and nobody can figure it out. Like we've kept things plugged in, we've bought better batteries, worse batteries, like we've kind of tried it all <laughs> and no matter what batteries die here, it's it's pretty unreal. So let's see if I can get this puppy started. All right, I got this puppy up, and I've had it plugged into this charging battery for a little bit. Now let's see if I can't get it started. It is starting to rain <laughs> like very specifically on one side of the property and then like look at the, how there's some blue skies peeking up out there so I don't know if it's gonna continue raining but I'm gonna go ahead and just take a break and have the mow under the hay canopy for a second but look at man how much this grass needed it <laughs> that is just freaking crazy normally when I uh, and mowing, I like to listen to like some hardcore screamo music, like some really emo stuff. I've got a playlist actually called Emo Shit. You're so uh, not focused there. Whatever setting I have this thing on, it just does not want to focus on me. Because pretty much that's the only thing I can hear on my headphones. And they're pretty good noise-canceling headphones. I like shove them far into my ear. But I have to listen to some pretty loud music because that mower is loud. My productive go-kart. But I've done maybe about half of the acre around the house. We've got um, over here on this side, which is like the front of the yard, down by the fire pit, and that's the pond over there. We have the side yard over here that's hopefully someday I've got some small fruit trees and stuff. And then this is the front of the yard over here. And then, on this side, I really only mow like entrances to because this is the goats. Our old hog pen, we don't have any hogs right now. We will again someday, but we don't have any right now. Um, but we've got our old hog pen over here. And then our old chicken coop that we're actually gonna put ducks into. Our hay manger and everything. And then wraps around to the whole side of the pond over there. And um, I absolutely do not mow the whole property with this. We have about eight and a quarter acres, um, so there's literally no way that I could <laughs> feasibly in the summertime in Florida mow this whole property with that mower. I mean, it would take half of a day, if not a whole day. It would take a really long time. Um, we do have a pond that takes up about, a, about an acre more in the summertime when it's totally full, when it's raining a lot. Um, so really, I kind of just use that mower for this whole area around the house and it works really good. Um, my father-in-law actually bought it used, it was like unusable, and he rebuilt it for us. So it's like a commercial stand-up lawn mower and he put a seat on it for me and everything. So I'm like totally spoiled with it. And it's probably my favorite gadget that we have on the farm. <laughs> and I'm pretty much the one that uses it most of the time anyway. So it's kind of like mine. But yeah, I like to listen to some loud ass music, have a seltzer, maybe a cocktail. I've got my water in there, don't worry. And um, I'm making a good time. And you can tell it's about to rain because the goats put themselves up. One is inside this little hut and the other one is underneath that shade shelter. That's how you know it's gonna rain. Well, I guess that's about that. <laughs> it's raining pretty heavy. 
so I guess I'm done done outside for the day. It's alright. I got a good amount of work done. Maybe I'll be able to do some more tomorrow. So I'm gonna run inside and try not to get totally soaked. Good thing I'm in a bathing suit. Oh hey, who's coming up? Aw. Hi, Griefin. Hi girl. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. It's okay. Do you want to run with me? Let's run back to the house, okay? Ready? Come on. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Tallulah. Let's go. We're getting rained on, girl. She's the only one who doesn't care at all. Oh, she's coming. Woohoo! Run, run, run. <laughs> Come on, girls. Good job. Good girls. All right. <laughs> so, a torrential downpour just started. So, anyways, good thing I was in a bathing suit. That's Florida for ya. Um, but... The silver lining is that a lot of times these rains don't last all that long. Honestly, they really don't. So that's at least the silver lining. <laughs> um, and everything is getting watered. I took the opportunity since I was in the mint patch to pick a huge, well, a nice bundle of mint. And I'm going to make myself a mojito. And honestly, for a day that I thought was going to get cut really short with the rains, it's like 5.30 or so. So this is just really not too bad. I got a pretty decent day outside. I'm pretty happy. And now we can listen to the lovely sounds of a Florida rain on our metal roof. And outside, some little ASMR for you. Alright you guys, I think that's a pretty good conclusion for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you liked this and want to see some more stuff from me and at my food forest, permaculture type, hippie gardening in Florida, um, please think about subscribing. I would love to have you um, and hear your feedback about your growing experiences, whether it's in Florida or otherwise. And thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a great day wherever you are, whatever kind of gardening you're doing and any kind of stage of gardening that you're in, whether you have like a window box with one herb in it or you've got this full-blown commercial garden, I really appreciate you spending time with me. So I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks.